Diablo 4 is played by more players. Diablo 4 sold more copies. Diablo 4 is more popular than game A, B, or C. I get these kind of comments day in and day out. And in this video, I am going to play Captain Obvious and talk about some games that in my opinion, in the current state, is better than the current status of Diablo 4 right now. But yet, when we use the measuring stick of what makes a game good, popular, sold the most, etc., etc., these games are going to have a problem surpassing Diablo 4 for the reasons that Mr. Captain Obvious here is going to discuss in this video. So I hope you'll join me and stick around. This is a deep dive and I'm really looking forward to getting this out there and hopefully preventing these conversations, which I really think are mute and nonsensical. But anyway, before we get into that, I do want to say many of you do continue to watch my content, but yet do not subscribe. If you can find it in your heart to hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. At the end of the day, I want to get my video out to as many eyes and ears as possible. And it's one of the reasons why I started this channel. So if you could find it in your heart to support my content, I would really appreciate it. Okay, let's get into the juicy details. All right, so we're gonna do this very quickly. There's no huge science to this, but I'm gonna compare Diablo 4, which, oh, by the way, before we get started, I do wanna put this huge, huge disclaimer right now, right now. Uh, breaking news, Sammy Caps is not a D4 hater. I don't wanna see the game fail. I do not dislike the game. I do not hate Blizzard. End of quote. I do not hate D4. I love Diablo 4. I want the game to be good. I want the game to be playable. And most importantly, I want the game to be fun. So I do not want to see Diablo 4 fail. I'm not a D4 hater. But I will continue to say, don't hate the player hate the game. I didn't make the game. I didn't put it in its current state. So don't hate me because I'm spitting facts. Just saying. Anyway, let's get into the important stuff. Now, I'm going to compare Diablo 4, a game I love and I want to love, but I'm currently, we'll see what happens with season five. Um, I don't know whether or not I'll be playing season five. I played the crap out of season four. I loved season four. It was amazing fun, huge step, loot reborn, S tier, S tier, S tier. Loved season four. We'll see what happens with season five. Okay, so I'm going to compare Diablo 4 to a current game I'm playing, but we could do this exercise with any other game. Now I'm playing Last Epoch and I love Last Epoch and I love 11th Hour Games. They, I think they are one of the best uh, top tier development staff. They really know how to manage a game in my humble opinion. So I'm gonna compare Diablo 4 with uh, Last Epoch, a game that just dropped Harbingers of Ruin 1.1. Um, so we're gonna do that comparison. So very quickly, Diablo 4, sold 10 million copies, okay? Last Epoch, 1 million copies, okay? Diablo 4 player base. Again, this is sketchy when it comes to establishing the player base, uh, the player count for Diablo 4 because Blizzard doesn't release their numbers. But there are websites out there that do estimations, okay? Um, so take this with a grain of salt when it comes to the Diablo 4 player base. But as you can see, the aver average monthly players the last 30 days is about 4 million. And uh, the average daily player count is 1 million. This is a 30-day average. So about a million players on average in the last 30 days have been playing Diablo 4. We're currently in Season 4, Loot Reborn. And August 6th, it's going to be Season 5. And the Class Reborn is happening actually in a couple of days, there's gonna be a reveal of the new class. So there's a lot of stuff. The Vessel of Hatred is coming later on in the year. Um, but today, currently, a million people, on average, are playing Diablo 4. 
great numbers, right? Now, you look at last epoch, sold a million. Diablo sold 10 million. So 10 times more the sales, right? Um, and the studio, AAA studio, small Kickstarter studio, okay? Um, they're averaging uh, 35,000 players right now. The all-time peak was 264. Their 24-hour peak is 53, right? So huge contrast difference, big time difference. However, Diablo 4 sold 10 million copies. Last Epoch sold 1 million copies. And I would argue that there are many factors that play into this, even though in my humble opinion, in the current state that Diablo 4 is in now, even though Last Epoch to me is S tier, and I would classify Diablo 4 in its current state as like a B tier game action RPG, like if you look at all the criteria that a good ARPG uh, requires, I think Last Epoch is S tier, and I would rate Diablo 4 as a B tier um, for the following criterias. And this is why I kind of shrug my shoulders a little bit and tilt my head when I get people coming into my live streams. By the way, I live stream every evening, 7 p.m., 7.30 Eastern Standard, p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. Come and check me out. I'm currently grinding Last Epoch. We just killed our first Harbingers, and we're on that grind towards the Pinnacle boss fight. So come over and watch me. With We have a cool, chill community. Come over and say hello. We'd love to have you. But anyway, even though I would argue that last epoch checks a lot of boxes when it comes to ARPGs. It will never, well, never is a strong word. It will have, it's got a lot of work to surpass or even get close to Diablo 4 when it comes to popularity, player count, and the amount of people playing Diablo 4. It has a huge, huge journey to even get close to it for the following reasons. First of all, the biggest one. In my latest, my last video, I did a video on what game developers, the decisions they need to make when they're deciding, do we do a PC only or do we do a multi-platform release of the game? And there was many uh, pros and cons to it, right? Now, when it comes to Diablo 4, it was a multi platform release it was released on pc and it was released on console and it has the benefit of being blizzard is owned by microsoft now and it's on the game pass and you know the quadrillion amount of people that have game pass my point is diablo 4 is on multi-platform last epoch is pc only through steam now i showed how many players are in the pc world and how many players are in the console world and the console slash mobile industry is way huger than the pc only player base so naturally inherently last epoch is already behind not one eight ball but like five eight balls um, because they are only released on pc right now through steam so they do not have the luxury of presenting or putting their game in front of the console uh, player base, therefore negating a huge uh, player base potential, which really knocks them back as far as even trying to get to anywhere near the numbers of Diablo 4. To me, this is the biggest and most important reason why Last Epoch has a huge journey ahead of itself to even put itself in the same conversation as Diablo 4 when it comes to the amount of people that are playing it and the daily player count and popularity for for that matter, okay? So right off the bat, no matter what they do, they will never be in the same sphere 
as Diablo 4 just because of that. They are only PC. So huge disadvantage, but I understand why 11th Hour Games did it. They wanted to optimize their game and make it right for PC. And then, and who knows when, we don't have a date. We know they want to go to console, but we don't know when. Um, but they want to get it right there and then deliver it to console. And doing multi-platform is very complex. And they are a small studio. They don't have the same luxuries that Blizzard has with Diablo 4, with the manpower, the financial backing, all these things that you need in order to address all the complexities complexities, the technical complexities that come with doing a multi-platform release. Um, so this is a huge disadvantage. And I think it's a huge correlation to why Last Epoch will never have the same the same ump when it comes to player base and popularity. And to me, it's the number one reason why I kind of shake my head when people tell me, you know, why are you playing this game? It's not as popular as Diablo 4. Uh, there's millions of people that play Diablo 4 every day. There's only 40, 50,000 playing Last Epoch. You're kind of missing the point. See, when I judge a game, I don't judge it by how many copies were sold, how many players are playing it, although that is important. Don't get me wrong. I look at the attributes of the game. And in the genre that I like, ARPGs, there are certain things that are a must in order for it to be even put in the S-Class category. And you tell me if I'm wrong and get in the comment section and you can argue with me or debate with me. I, that's a word I'd rather use. I don't want you arguing with me. I'd rather you debate me because I love debates. But you cannot deny that Last Epoch checks a lot of the boxes. The loot, the itemization, the quality of life. Now, if you want to nitpick, and, and I do nitpick, and I have said in the past, and do stand by that um, opinion of mine, Last Epoch in 1.0 lacked endgame. Now, 1.1 brought more endgame. I would still argue, and again, I have not gotten to the endgame. I'm getting there, uh, but... I would still think they will continue to add to it, and I think they do need to add to it. So Last Epoch is not perfect. However, there are a lot of attributes in Last Epoch, the ones that I just listed and rhymed off, that do not exist in Diablo 4. Now, Loot Reborn added a nice foundation to loot and itemization. However, it pales in comparison to last epochs itemization and if you don't agree with me come in the comment section and debate me i'd love to debate you but i have one rule when it comes to debating it must be factual and true uh opinions are opinions facts are facts i hope you understand what i mean by that um but you want to talk about players complaining in Diablo 4 about bricking an item, go play Last Epoch and you'll see complaining about bricking an item. But the difference is in Last Epoch, it is fun to grind and it's an amazing experience when it comes to min and max in your loot and your characters. And don't even get me started when it comes to build variety and class balance last epoch hits a home run now they have their fair share of problems and every game has its fair share of problems when it comes to builds and managing the builds whether they're op one one class is so op and managing that don't get me wrong last epoch has its fair share of problems too however the build diversity in Last Epoch is second to none. And I'm sorry to say this, Diablo 4 doesn't come anywhere near that. Um, so it's for those points that I've just outlined. I'm going to continue to shrug my shoulders and say, <laughs> that's not an argument. Diablo 4 is more popular. Uh, yeah, hello, Captain Obvious. Uh, 10 million versus 1 million if you're comparing it to Last Epoch. And that's naturally what's happening right now is because I'm streaming Last Epoch. Uh, more players paid Diablo 4. Oh, 
Captain Obvious, yeah, they sold 10 million copies. I would hope there's players playing the game. They sold freaking 10 million copies, Captain Obvious. Oh, it's a better game. More players are playing it daily. Uh, again, Captain Obvious, yes, 10 million copies. Console, it's available on Game Pass, Steam, Battle.net. I can go on and on and on. Last Epoch, only available on Steam. Hello, Captain Obvious. I, I, what's your point? I, I'm, I'm not getting it. Um, so I hope this video clears up where I'm coming from. If you happen to come by my stream and say, why are you playing this game? It's not as popular as Diablo 4. <laughs> uh, hi, Captain Obvious. Anyway, just wanted to do a little tongue-in-cheek video today. I feel I'm really in a good mood. Like I said, we are just killed our first Harbinger in last epoch, and I'm super excited. We're getting closer and closer and closer to the pinnacle boss. We got a hell of a grind. I got a lot of work to do on my build. I'm playing a Torment Warlock. I'm having so much fun playing this. But Warlock has always been one of the masteries in last epoch that i really really am attracted to it's such a fun there's a lot of fun builds in this game but uh warlock uh, I, I gotta say i love it um but anyway we're getting closer to the pinnacle boss so come check me out on twitch sammy caps is the channel name 7 p.m 7 30 eastern standard time every evening come and say hello anyway i hope this <laughs> explains why i kind of shrug my shoulders when you come into my stream and you say why are you playing this game that's not as popular as diablo 4 captain obvious all right we'll see you in a terror everybody thank you for watching take care the opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine healthy debate is always encouraged hate is never welcomed so get over it <laughs>